Right, well, it's Saturday, crack of nine o'clock. I'm not really a morning person. My face is burnt because I was welding the, uh, trying to get the pins out of the Scania rear ramps the other day, which is pretty awful. Welding without a mask, just goggles, and then I got all burnt, so that was great. Um, and we're going to go and recover the cat digger that we um, recovered. Well, we're going to actually bring it back, not recover it. We're going to put it on the trailer and bring it back. That's the plan today. We're back with the digger. Oh, we're, we're back, by the way. <laughs> so we're going to we're going to try and take the digger home today. Um, the plan is tractor and trailer to get it off this yard and then obviously we're going to use the lorry to take it down the road because it'd be <laughs> do otherwise so we're gonna get it off of this um shit our waste ground but we need to get it onto a beaver tail plant trailer um last time we pulled it the tracks didn't go around at all so i'm gonna unbolt the track motors or me and joel are unbolt the track motors and then hopefully it'll it'll free wheel and then we need to we need to prop the boom up, which um, could take a bit of doing. I like that trees came with it the whole way because the track didn't move. Maybe we get to gain that. It might go around the track and stay on. Um, so what I'm probably going to do, I've brought a bit of channel, uh, Chanel number no. 5. I'm going to lift the boom up. Might have to slacken the pipes off. Lift the boom up, trap some channel in, and then put some cable ties around it. So it'll actually hold the boom up. And then we'll probably try and then um, loosen the pipes on the dipper and winch the, uh, winch the bucket in, crowd it in and then um, chains and binder that up so it's, so it's out of the way. Sounds easy but I bet it's going to be a disaster. So anyway, first thing we've got to do is uh, dig the track motors out because I can't even see them. So last time we just unbolted the uh, the track brake pipes, which are these two, and of course uh, that did shag all. So we're just going to actually unbolt the motors, and pull them back out the chassis, she'll free wheel. How uh, much you want to bet that this is not going to come out here? I don't know, we're filming it, so it will do. It's moved, but a good quarter of a special pry bar that we've got. Sure, there's none underneath it. Well, that's a lot. It's moving. Stop trying to move the digger. Or just. <laughs> I just... don't think you're moving the digger with a fing shovel, Joe. What are you on about? <laughs> it's coming. So it's... I'm not sure it's a, it's a massive fan of this. Pornhub Premium. Oh, yes. Oh. Wow, she's going. Oh, this looks. Can I have a little look in what? the gap? There's like little clutch plates in there. Can I have a little look in the gap, please? Where do you think these spines? Look at all this. Oh, energy. Which way do you think? Do you think they're coming? Do you think the shaft's coming off with the motor or the motor with the shaft? I'd say the motor's got a shaft in it. I think, I think, I think it's got more energy. <laughs> oh, I don't really want to pry off that. Well, I think actually those things are supposed to stay, stay in on it. the digger. That's because Jesus Christ is... Is it off? She is off. Ring your mum, tell her you've made it. I've made it, mate. Right. Someone will be going, that's not how you do it. In 1945, I changed one of these with my great granddad, and this is not how you do it, okay? I just thought I'd tell you, because I didn't want you to think you were good mechanics. Mechanic Steve! But my profile picture is my car in a garage, because it never runs. Right, that's going to want a bit of rag hosting up it. And we're going to want to put a bit of rag over that. Hopefully then. Whoa. I reckon that's the brake packs. Yeah. But someone will tell me otherwise. 
Okay. I think it's the um, double clutch. Oh, yes. Right, that's some of Joel's soil bed sheet around there. Now let's slap some cable ties over it. Can you explain to the viewers at home what, uh, what, what we're we're doing? Done? We're doing this so we don't get too much uh, debris in inside the bit that shouldn't have poo and shit and soil. So, we've moved the track motor out of the way, which Joel has realised weighs about as, about as much as a full grown man, isn't it? Yeah. Not fully grown. So, I'm not going to cut those tassels off because that will give people absolute nightmares. I'll leave them, leave them going around, knocking everything. That's moving the track. If we put the impact gun on there, we could just drive it on. But then it's what it's designed to do, isn't it? That weighs 32. That weighs more than that. Yeah. That must be fast track. Under the tracks, unhook the fast track, 
then I'm going to back the folding over the headboard of the trailer and then do a straight wing straight up easy as that
particularly like how now he's probably just going to loop that round the ramp and use the electric wiring to hold the ramp up. He left the handbrake off. <laughs> He's well happy with himself. Shims have come on. <laughs> it was somehow got itself there. <laughs> Matt, have you got any tape? <laughs> well, I want to tape these brake packs together. Just look under here. Might have a bit of gaffer tape. Yeah, that's what it wants. Because I don't want to spend any money on on any of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have to do. I think to be fair, that rags. That was all. Just go. To be fair, it's done its job. It's kept them clean. 
Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that unloaded a lot better than I thought it would. I thought that was the best way of doing it, full power. Right, so we've made it back with little to no shenanigans whatsoever. I do like this, just show them this. Zoom in on the, that bit of channel that's holding the whole boom up. When we come off at speed, it's, it shapes itself nicely. So that, that's meant. Um, but basically, in the next video of the cat, we're gonna take the cylinder head off um, and see just how much water's in the cylinders. And I've spoke to some guy on the Old Girls of Plant Hire, which is a very reputable Facebook site. He reckons he's got an engine where the bottom end's shagged and I only need top end stuff. So fingers crossed, we can mend it for bugger all. We, this needs more than top end stuff. No, doesn't deserve it. <laughs> We're gonna mend this as cheaply as possible. So we'll see you in the next video. I don't know when we're going to be doing anything on this because, well, there's loads of things we should be doing, but keep up, up to date with Cat video and, and that's fit and Matt. Everyone keeps asking me where he's gone. I'm still alive. He's there. And big thanks to Roscoe for uh, definitely not transporting that down the road. No, I didn't. We went through the fields. Yeah, private, private roads only. We'll see you again.